Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on factorising by taking a common numeric factor out. Now factorising is just the opposite of expanding. When we're expanding brackets, we're getting rid of the brackets. Whereas to factorise something means to put it into brackets. So it's the product of some things, usually involving brackets. Now the strategy here is to identify a common factor. So to identify a common factor in all the terms that are in your subtraction or in your sum. So what's common to 12x and to this 4 here? Well, 12 and 4 both have a common factor of 4. So what we do is we put that 4 on front of a bracket and then we think about expanding but backwards. So 4 times what would give you the 12x and 4 times what would give you the minus 4. So we would expand a bracket. Well, let's think about the number first. 4 times what gives you the 12x? Well, we need a 3. 4 times 3 would give you 12. But also, this has an x, so we need to put an x there. And then that works, because 4 times 3x, or 4 lots of 3x, would be 12 lots of x, wouldn't it? And then what about this second term? 4 times what would give you minus 4? Well, 4 times minus 1 would give you minus 4. And that is the final factorization. What about this second one? What do 10 and 15y have in common? Well, they have a common factor of 5, these two numbers, don't they? So let's put a 5 on front of a bracket, and then let's think about expanding, but backwards. So 5 times what would give you 10? Well, it's 2. Then let's copy this symbol. We get a plus in the middle. 5 times what is 15y? Well, 5 times 3 gives you the 15. And then also we need this y here, so we're going to have to put that y there so that 5 times 3y indeed is 15y.